Hi, welcome to another episode of Walking the Path. Uh, today I'm walking the festival path. I'm at Great Wonderfest, one of the many festivals that now operate throughout the summer in England. This one, a family festival. I'm actually here to speak. They have a well-being centre and I'm giving a talk on goal mapping uh, later today and already given uh, one talk earlier. They uh, have amusements here and it, it feels a little bit like I've come full circle. As many of you watching will know, I grew up with the travelling fun fairs and here I am back travelling, uh, speaking at festivals and behind me uh, you can see there's a side show, curiosity show. And years ago on the travelling fun fairs there were big curiosity shows like this and one of the big attractions would be a flea circus and they used uh, real fleas, in fact they used human fleas because uh, of all the different flea species rat flea, cat flea, dog flea, horse flea, human fleas are the, are the biggest and so they were the easiest to see on the flea table and human fleas can jump really high and the, and the flea table would only have a little barrier and so they would train the flea to stay on the table and the way in which they would train the flea is that they would uh, restrict its movement, they would put it in a in a match box or a covered a jar, glass, and of course the flea would jump in its head, jump in its head and after a few days the flea would become conditioned only to jump to the height of the glass and no higher. And this process is called the conditioning process. This is in all animals and it's the way that horses are trained to let you ride them or dogs are trained or in fact we are trained because the process is also inside of us. Being here today has caused me to think about it. I have uh, relatives open with their amusements here today and it's made me think about how so much of life is a cycle, a repeating pattern. From the earliest of human times, festivals have operated of course. Originally they would have been religious festivals uh, with communities coming together and now in more modern times again we have people coming together that have shared interest. This festival is a particularly good feeling, it's a family festival and there are, are people here from so many different backgrounds uh, feeling a sense of freedom. Hello? <laughs> the kids walking past, feeling a sense of freedom and empowerment and that uh, it's a very attractive thing I believe for human nature which is why we've had it throughout the ages. I grew up in a travelling fun fair and my ancestors and relatives have been involved in circus and a lot of uh, travelling and here I back am working within festival and so a cycle if you like. My brother also working within the festival business after many years of, of leaving the fun fairs. And we see these repeating cycles in life generally with civilization and we experience repeating cycles ourselves. And it's important sometimes to think beyond our cycles. I believe one of the main reasons why people are attracted to an event like this is the feeling of freedom that is here, freedom for the children, but also people feeling very free. And then very often after coming to somewhere like this where we come together in celebration and feeling of freedom, we go back into our daily lives and we start to feel restricted and uh, held perhaps in place by society or family or situation and just like the flea that becomes conditioned to only jump so high sometimes we condition ourselves or become influenced by society around us to only jump so high 
go so far, do so much. Sometimes our past experiences become part of the conditioning that influences us to only go so far in our life, no further than we've been before. And it's really important to have an experience every once in a while where you think beyond your normal day and you hold a bigger picture in your mind for what your life is about and what you're capable of achieving. And within the goal mapping process that I've created and I'm here teaching both to parents and children together sat side by side is that all success begins with a dream. By giving ourselves the time to have a little daydream and to be free and dream big about what we would really like our life to be. From that place then we can start to create a plan and a goal map and influence our subconscious mind to move us towards it. And that's an everyday process, not just a special day process in a situation like this where we can get together with like-minded people, share a common ideal and a common idea of life and celebrate to the max. And so whatever path you're on, uh, whatever intention you hold for yourself, give yourself some freedom. Allow yourself to dream big. Hold a picture in your mind of your greatest success and then capture that picture in the form of a goal map so that it helps you remember consciously of what you most desire and commands you subconsciously to move towards it. And until next week, when I'll be on another path somewhere, sharing another thought about life, I wish you all well. Bye for now.